July 6, Monday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The little girl is not dead but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And the news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord I shall be cured. In the Gospel, we read of two healing miracles by Jesus. Both are marvelous examples of Jesus' compassion. First, the synagogue official pleads with Jesus, saying, my daughter has just died. We can imagine the anguish he might be feeling. Maybe this is his only child, his one pride and joy, and now she is dead. Tragedy has befallen him. He pleads with Jesus. While Jesus is on his way to the official's house, a woman suffering hemorrhages, an irregular menstrual cycle, for 12 years touches him. Her unfortunate condition, according to the Jewish point of view, has rendered her religiously unclean. Who could rescue her from this life of isolation and humiliation? Note that both the synagogue official and the bleeding woman feel desperate. They will make any means necessary to remedy their predicament. They place their faith in Jesus. Both have their prayers answered. Do we believe that this same compassionate healing of Jesus is available to us, no matter what may be our difficulties or afflictions?